computer vision and artificial intelligence. That's Astra's usual menu of services. But now, this Taiwan-based startup has an unusual order for something it never thought of trying. We were intrigued, but we weren't sure if this is the right direction for our company. With business opportunities booming for Astra in Japan, it finds itself playing a unique role for a large traditional Japanese company. Traditional Japanese corporations invest on the startups to seek the way to transform. Astra has also had to adjust. We don't say no, we say we will think about it. And as it expands, how will Astra stand up to scrutiny? With facial recognition, I think about surveillance. Three goals in three months. Astra takes on the challenge on Venturepreneurs. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs>from the moment they enter, Astra's facial recognition app gives visitors a taste of what the company does. Our core expertise is on face recognition uh, applications. What makes us unique is that most of them are doing it for surveillance or they are selling to large enterprises or governments only. What we want to do is sell it to normal businesses and small businesses that can afford. Astra is based in Taiwan, which has traditionally been strong in technology. The Taiwan Tech Arena is a way to nurture tech startups. We have three main focus on Taiwan Tech Arena. Uh, first one is for artificial intelligence. The second one is for semiconductor industry. And the third one is for software. Taiwan tends to be a lot more product oriented, a lot of hardware teams. There's a lot of advanced robotics, um, artificial intelligence. And lately there's a, a bigger push on you know, biomedical devices. Astra has an added challenge. Right now, our main market is in Japan, and we're working with service providers in Japan to distribute our products. Astra has a whole team devoted to its Japanese clients. So in this area, we have the Japanese operations team, which is about seven people. They have to interact with our Japanese customers daily to ensure operations fine. NTT East distributes Astra's products in Japan. Smaller companies doing business in Japan will have to understand what is valued and the role that they are playing. Have you ever heard of the word of omotenashi? We customize our service or our product by the individual customers. Japanese top 10 companies like Toyota, Sony, and NTT, they establish a, a venture capital by, by themselves. It's called the CVC, Corporate Venture Capital. And then they invest on the startups to seek the way to transform by acquiring a new technology or new culture. So NTT East have asked Astra to develop a product for an agriculture company, Plantio. It's quite a leap for Astra. Gary explains the situation to venture capitalist Kwan, who has invested in Astra. We have been working with NTT for the past two years, so mm -hmm. the reason they recommend the company to us is that we have their trust to mm -hmm. bring a product to market mm -hmm. in a timely mm -hmm. and quality fashion. Okay. So it's device itself is just a simple soil sensor thing that you just plug it into a planter mm. and you will start automatically monitoring everything about the plant. We were very intrigued, mm. but we weren't sure if this is 
the right direction for our company. Just what are your thoughts on the market sizing for this product? So this kind of product is definitely <clears throat> trending in Japan. This is not actually Plantia's first product. They have been in the planter business for three generations. Okay. So they already have existing channels mm, and uh, distribution I partners see. who can, who are very excited to test their new product. Would there be other corporate right. clients right. that may have the same need as well? Then right. you can potentially use this right. to broaden your uh, corporate uh, customer base as well. Right. Right. We're interested in how much data or what kind of data we can collect based mm -hmm. on this mm -hmm. and what service we can provide based on the data. What do you see needs to be done? to help you Actually, get there. Right now, we have been basically flying our sales team mm. to Japan every month. But as we have reached a certain level, mm -hmm. we have to have local person. Mm -hmm. No, I would completely agree. There is a certain element of right. uh, being on the ground, speaking right. face to face. Right. That's also very important, very important. Uh, in terms of doing business right. uh, there. Astra does have a secret advantage to doing business in Japan. One of its co-founders. 我从跟日本接触到现在应该是三十年了。我刚在来日本第一个公司，Headquarters，说实在，我在办公室里面怎么接电话都不会。那还有一个Assistant教我怎么去开始接电话。There is other etiquette that smooths the way for companies doing business in Japan. Gaining the mutual trust, so your polite behavior uh, is important. We don't say no. We say. We will think about it. In terms of the exchange card, your name card should be lower than your counterpart. At the meeting, most senior person should take a seat uh, in the most position. And same as the same as the meal uh, occasion. Astra heads to Japan to meet the clients, and CJ gives Gary a tip ahead of a very important meeting. The visitor is so we yeah. sit on the far side yes, from the yes. door, right? And yeah. they sit on the closer to the yeah. door, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Astra specializes in computer vision and artificial intelligence. Every employee who comes in can scan their face directly. But now it's taking a leap into an entirely new field thanks to a new project. And today, their client from Japan arrives to see the progress that's been made on the product. A soil sensor to promote urban gardening and urban farming communities. The first stop, a local manufacturer producing hardware for the soil sensor. あの、この開発にはもうすでに2年半以上時間がかかってるんですけれども、AI を作るための基礎を構築するところにすごく時間がかかりました。生産するときには、あの、120はね、あまりないので、例えば520系で行きますので、そのならば、ま、1日ぐ
how installing these cameras has helped with the security with the kids. We want to make sure that the truth is always there, showing that we're doing things in a safe way. Okay, so it's not just for the protection of the kids, but also for the staff. Yes. So, yeah. Okay, wow. Satisfied with the installation of the system for the children, Gary heads to Astra's next client. I brought the first functioning sample of the soil sensor, and I'm on my way to meet Seizawa san and to test the soil sensor in his office. えっと、小さいお子さんがいる乳ファンリーのご家庭をターゲットにしています。えっと、今世の中ではこういった農業センサーっていうのは一つのセンサーが一つのファンクション機能しかないっていうセンサーがほとんどなんですね。で、これには日
、学校も含め老後施設とか介護施設とか、うんあのまあ、佐工住のマンションとか、まあ、都市開発さんのビルとか、うん、いよいよできましたね。うんうん大前提としてはどんだけユーザーが簡単にできるんだっけというところが彼らはやっぱりそのスピード感をすごく重要視してくれますと、まあ、我々が欲しいタイミングとか欲しいあのロット数物量ですね。You have to gain their trust before they can work with you。ああ、所以参考人家说、え、那你日本做生意的话、要花很长的时间。我讲的是像说 Top 500 company 啦、那大概要花两年。At the community farm in Ebisu, users are looking forward to using the soil sensors. ここはいろいろセンサーがついているのでじゃあどこに何今日はお水をあげるとか今日はどこで草を取る今日は種を植える Satisfied customers and clients for Estra. But how will Gary handle the tough questions that a branding expert has for him? Hello. It's great to be back in Taiwan. I can feel the energy, and it's a very happening place. Hustle and bustle, and you can feel there's business being made. Hello. Hi Gary, Hi, I'm Gary. I tried to come in using your technology, no but it so, wouldn't let me. So let me add you to my uh, to, to my employee list. Okay. So let me just add you here, and take a know. picture first. Yeah, take a picture so, so you can recognize me. Okay. Right. So put your face this? here. Yep. So let me enter your name. Okay. Let's see if I, it can recognize me. Right. Okay. So this is a clock emo. So just put your face here. Okay. And okay. Yeah. There you go. Let me ask you about how you calibrate your system for different users. So the first question we always ask is, why do you need Facebook for this? What is the most critical factor in in this particular product? Is it budget? Is it performance? Is it accuracy? So you basically tailor it to their needs. Right. right. So if if they tell you, oh, I don't have that big a budget. Right. Okay. We can make it cheaper for you, but. The downside is you can only get a certain level of, of right. uh, performance yeah. or accuracy. How about differentiation? All of our competitors are focusing on larger enterprises, governments. We want to start helping people in here. People with no budget, people with no IT experience, people who don't know the benefit of the technology, who don't have access to the. Whenever I hear facial recognition, camera, I think Big Brother. So how much is it business intelligence and where's the fine line to surveillance? We don't actually save your pictures. We extract your face traits and we basically we save them in a random number. We're thinking about the user experience and they're far away from any surveillance. So I'm impressed. On message with their brand, the positive feedback from Plantio and NTT East means Astra can move ahead with their projects. に向けてでどういうなあのですかあのスパンでどういうなでですかであの規模の形であのマーケティングやっていく、はい、いくんですかねはいそうですねあのまずはあのこれをまあ年明けの大きなまあ家電商ですね投資家やあの今これが欲しいって言ってる会社の反響と希望を募ります、ね、そうするとテストティングマーケットが我々も材料用意しとかないといけないので。はいはいテスティングマーケットは大体数百から千ぐらいの規模で、はい、あの見てよろしいですか、ねはい。そうですね。あの、はい、マックス千で見ています。はいはい。じゃああの<笑>一緒に頑張りましょう。わかりました。はい。ありがとうございます。<笑>はい。よろしくお願いします。はい。We also want to expand to other areas of the manufacturing part, like access control, like labor, 
the employee track and management. So this is our new product that's uh, designed for greenhouses in Japan. So instead of providing only face recognition technology, we want to help, help these customers get the total solution with just from us. We have already done the backend integration of face recognition on top. In Japan, a lot of warehouses, they may be speaking different languages, but we also want to make sure they have a collaboration center around the tasks. So everyone knows where and when and what they're doing at all times. So this is also a very big project. We've been working on it in the last year. We've been working on the proof of concept stage. And we've been working on the proof of concept stage. And we've been working on the It's been a fruitful three months for Astra. Its founders finally had the time to review what they've accomplished. So what do you think about it? cooperation and long-term business potential with NTT. Yeah, they have a lot of a di division inside right. and uh, each division like an uh, independent company. Right. right now we cooperate with uh, several projects with, uh, with several divisions. If you want to deal with such kind of a big giant, you just uh, be patient right. and uh, go step by step. Right. Yes. But for us, it's also not easy to management. Yeah. 因为一个是那个startup，嗯，呃，twenty，一个是日本top <音>那这种startup in Indonesia and also in Thailand. Mm -hmm. well, I've been flying to Indonesia a couple of times a year to understand the market and what they need and how we should approach, how we should enter the market. So we always want to learn from our mistakes. If we make something that's not ideal the last time, we learn from it and we improve the next time. So every time we work with someone, we are growing, not just in terms of scale and business side, but also in terms of experience and our mentality. So that's, I think that's what sets us apart from a lot of our other companies.